All right. Uh, we're running short on time, but I do want to tell you a couple other things, which is job cancellations. You can go sit down now. Thank you. <laughs> if I have to stand up here the whole time, you've got to stand up here the whole time. Yes, thank you for our volunteers. I'll try to get you out early. I know I said I would if people volunteered. One thing I want to bring up is job cancellations. Who has woke up in the morning and found out that your $20,000 job canceled? Does that or does that not suck ass? Yeah. Yes, it really does suck. How do we avoid that? I'll tell you a couple tricks of what to do to avoid that. First of all, always half down or secured financing. Always, always, always. Unless your company requires full. If, you're, if they do, do that. All right? Then if you can, try to start something that day. So like this one, I'll restore this circuit because I already have most of them pull out of the wall. And then we'll come back to do all the other stuff. All right? So do that. Try to do something. Then, uh, let me back up. So here's what usually happens. Well, let me go ahead and explain how it is in different terms. Let's say you go out on a date with somebody, right? You're dating, a, a, you're going on a, girl, a date with a girl. And you meet this girl and you go to a restaurant, you're eating and everything's going well, and then you guys decide that you're gonna go on a second date. And the minute you put it in your calendar, you get up and you run out of the restaurant. What do you think that girl's gonna think? You're a weirdo. You're weird. That was weird. He just got up and left. That's what you're doing to your customers every frickin' time you sell a job and you run out. You're doing the same thing. You're sitting there, you're spending all this time with them, going through a diagnostic and a show and tell and proposals and running finance, and the minute they sign it, you grab your shit and you leave. <laughs> tell me I'm wrong. Is it any wonder they might have feel taken advantage of? that maybe you're not a good person, it's a bad company, they have second thoughts, and they call and cancel the next day, starts to click in your mind now, doesn't it? So, and I get it, it's five, six o'clock at night, you're drained from running calls all day, you've been spending two, three, four, five hours with this customer, you're completely drained and you just wanna go home. I get it, I've been there, it sucks, I get it. But it sucks more waking up knowing that all that work you did canceled. So, after you get them signed up for the job, half down, if it's that late, you probably won't start anything. If you do, good for you, great, go ahead and start something. But you need to spend about five, ten minutes with the customer talking about anything other than the job. You eyes will have no problem with this. You S's probably won't have a problem. The D's, we're just going to want to get the hell out of there, but you can't. Talk about their anniversary, their birthday party, whatever you talked about throughout the house, something you talked about. Talked about anything other than the job. We need them to get their mind off the job and back onto you. They're buying you, remember? We need to rebuild a little bit of that trust and likability again so they don't call and cancel. Spend a little bit of time with them at the table, talk about anything else. After you do that, get up off the table, get on your phone. I don't care who you call. I don't care if you call your warehouse guy, a wholesaler, your boss, call somebody's voicemail. I don't care who you call. Call somebody and start listing out every part and piece you need to order for that job. And say it loud enough for the homeowners to hear. So you're going to get on the phone and be like, I need a 30 space, 200 amp square D panel. I need a whole house surge protection kit. I need four uh, 120 or 20 amp single pole breakers. Like you're gonna list everything. And then when you're done, you're gonna say, and I need you to pull a permit in the city of whatever city you're in for Mr. and Mrs. Jones, whatever their name is, cause we're starting this job tomorrow or Wednesday or Friday or whatever the date's set up for. What is the homeowner here? I paid half down, I like you again, we have all these parts ordered, they're all being shipped, and a permit's being pulled. And it's scheduled for Friday or tomorrow or whenever you scheduled it. 
If you do all that, your cancellations will go down quite, quite heavy. And you probably got to call and order all that crap for somebody anyway. So you're just doing it in the house and the homeowner's hearing it all. But it's also building value because you know how many parts we, like to do this job, you know how many parts we're ordering for all this stuff? That's a lot of stuff we're ordering. It's going to sound like a lot of stuff to a homeowner, especially if they don't know what any of the terms are. And then you bring up the permit thing, okay? So anytime you sell a job, I would highly recommend doing that. If you get that gut feeling that they're going to cancel, I would try to get back out there the next day if all possible. Don't, don't cry wolf, but if you call your boss or your dispatcher and say, I think they're going to cancel if we don't start this today or tomorrow, maybe they'll do something to get it started today or tomorrow. Or maybe if this is like your noon 11 to 2 call, maybe they'll block off your 2 to 5 and have you stay and just start working on it just if you get that feeling that they're going to cancel. Okay? But when it's those late nights and all that, do what I told you to do. That helps. Don't, uh, don't, don't run out of the restaurant. <laughs> Unless they kick you out, but if they kick you out, they probably uh, aren't buying anything today. No, I mean if they're free, but they want you to leave. Oh, yeah, but just tell them, but I gotta at least order the parts. I gotta get everything ordered. I'll be as quick as I can. Because I have situations where I've been told, like you know, don't get anything. Yeah. Like pregnant pauses. Yeah, but this is your working. You're making material. You're ordering stuff. Like this is all legit. Yeah. Yep. And you can say, if you need to go put your kids down or start dinner or whatever, go ahead. But just, again, make sure it's loud enough for them to hear it while you're doing it. All right. Is there anything I didn't cover? Do you think most of this stuff will help your closing rate? Yes. Do you know how to build relationships better with your homeowners? Yes. You should get expanding the customer's mind now, talking about getting them off of one outlet to the circuit to the whole house, right? We talked about taking control of the job, going to the panel first, start con controlling the job. We talked about price objections, and all this stuff should definitely get your average ticket up because I'm telling you, if you propose $50,000, $38,000 jobs, do you think one of them's going to buy one? Mm -hmm. Probably. But if you don't present it, I promise you they won't. All right. On the back, your last sheet, there is a survey on this last sheet of your packets. If you could please do me a favor and fill that out and just maybe set them by that plant or something by the door on your way out, I would appreciate that. <laughs>